Hi Entropia. Today I am here to explain how to set up your hotkeys and personalize your keyboard and make grinding just a little bit easier. First things first is you have to go up to your top right hand corner and find the edit panel. You're going to click that and it'll open up these four options. You're going to click the first option is your keyboard map and it will bring up a giant keyboard that you are able to personalize and customize to however you see fit. Uh, next you are going to go into your action library and this is a giant book full of a multitude of different options that you can place either on your keyboard or your desktop that is your choice uh, the first out of the four that I'm going to go over today is going to be loot and this is found on page two uh, this loot allows you to uh, collect anything from a creature that you have currently killed without using an auto loot pill and the next one that we are going to go to is to toggle auto use tool and this is on page 14 this allows you to use any equipped item or tool until the action is either finished or no longer available to be done uh, the next two toggles that we're going to add to our keyboard are on page 12 and this is going to be your select next target it allows you to select the target with any equipped gun and the one right behind it is going to be your select previous target because if you're like me you will over select a target and probably shoot multiple mobs at once uh, it's always best to try to go back to the first mob and not continue to kill the second and third that you have toggled into now once we are done with that we are going to place them on our keyboard and I take my loot and I place this on my backward slash button I place my auto use tool on my delete button my select next target even though there are buttons that are already predetermined I'm going to place it on J and my select previous target on H one thing to note if you have placed something on a predetermined determined toggle key you can take that off and it will still show the one that is set for this activity set or active set so no worries there behind that we are going to place some items on our keyboard to make it just a little bit easier to click without having to go into your inventory every time uh, I'm gonna go to guns first and put my Rubio on O and my EWE, which is a lower damaging weapon, right next to P. Behind this, we're going to go to our tool section. It should be right underneath your weapon section. And we're going to put our VSE MK1, or our sweat gatherer. And I place this on my RCT button. Notice that when you're using any of these buttons or tools that you've placed on your keyboard, you can use the other buttons in uh, unison, such as I'm sweating with my VSE. I can then, once established sweating, use my auto toggle tool to continue the action until the creature is sweated out. Now, the other thing that most people would want to place on their keyboard is a healing tool. Now, my healing tool for right now is a Vivo S10. And if you haven't done Gauntlet on Kali, I would recommend it because this is one of the most eco-friendly uh, healing tools in the game for newbie, and just place it on in pretty much any key that's out of the way. Um, from here, you've pretty much set up your keyboard for an easy grind. Now remember, you can go into multitudes of different actions that you want to do. Uh, I'm going to place one thing though on my actual desktop. And that is my teleportation chip. And I'm going to just place that somewhere out of the way. And it makes its own little button. And this way, if I'm trying to teleport, I can just click that. Now, I hope that you find that this video is helpful. And good luck to you. Have fun and always profit.